Welcome back and good morning to Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. Joining me in the studio right now is Henry Barr, the Barr team. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Glad to see a little bit of rain, but glad to know that more sunshine is on the way as well. It looks like we have a great weekend ahead of us, which means uh, some good leaf peeping and also maybe some real estate shopping as well in this kind of weather. It definitely needs to be real estate shopping. I can tell you, right. again, you know, last week I really hammered home on mm -hmm. it and I've just got to say it again and again. Um, we've seen the activity in our offices. We've seen the activity on the amount of inventory decrease. Um, properties that have been in the market, you know, two, three years are now going off the market. The number of great deals are really sliding there. Um, as I said last week, and I really want to hammer home again, you've got three things that drives not the price, but the cost of real estate. And that's interest rates, inventory, and the price. And at least two of those are beginning to move. Interest rates are slowly moving up and inventory is continually moving down and it's moving down at a fairly decent pace. There's some significant holes in the marketplace for inventory. If you come to me with certain criteria, there's some significant holes in the inventory right now. It's good and to know. as those two move, the latter will be the price. Um, they have it, price hasn't started to move significantly yet, but there's, you know, if you get uh, inventory down, it's a simple supply and demand. Right. We see it in Denver. We've seen it. You know, Den yeah. we're, we follow Denver six to 18 months. You did make that point yeah. last week yeah. that Denver, we follow mm -hmm. them, yeah. you know, behind the, in mm -hmm. around that six month trend yeah. or week. Um, that once they start changing, you can bet yeah. that we are yeah. going to follow right along. So with, with that in mind, though, um, the property you brought in today is a very interesting property because, well, especially in my taste, because mm -hmm. it's right on the golf course and one of my favorites in the county the Raven at Three Peaks, mm -hmm. and it is right on a, a putting green. It's on the second green. On the second green. Right on the okay. second green. And, you know, <coughs> you can see pictures and right from it. Um, you know, I, I'm not a golfer myself, but what a wonderful setting. Um, right. It's set far enough off the course and, um, that the, and, and the location on where the, the part of the golf course that it's on, the, you know, very seldom do the balls come to the house, mm -hmm. uh, but yet you're probably 100, 150 feet max from the green. Um, it just doesn't get any closer, that type of right. thing. And I searched last night in the MLS and I searched fairly extensively. To my knowledge, this is the least expensive luxury home in Summit County on a golf course. Wow. Whether it's Copper, Summit, uh, Keystone, Breck, or Silverthorne. I cannot find anything like this in this quality, in this price range with these Amazing. upgrades and so forth. Right, and as you mentioned though, it's right off the green, and mm -hmm. that's what's advantageous though about that in anywhere in a mm -hmm. golf course, that's pretty much where you'd wanna be, mm -hmm. closer to the green, not you know, on the fairway, mm -hmm. because you're not having that dis uh, this disruption, if you will, of, yeah. of these you know, <laughs> lost balls getting yeah. hit toward your direction. And, uh, but then as you mentioned, as the price point that it's at, to be in that kind of location. So the prime real estate of a golf course and being yeah. prime real estate itself at the price it is, that's just outstanding. And, and of the quality. So, yeah. I mean, you've got this really nice quality situation with, with the granite and the alder. And I mean, it is just gorgeous. And it's very, very livable, main floor master, um, living area on the main floor, big decks where you can sit out and watch the golfers and. You know, if you might, you could heckle, but I wouldn't recommend <laughs> that. But, um, you know, you can sure oh, you can sure laugh, mm -hmm. that's for sure. You can sure have fun on it. Right. And then again, remember, our golf season here is only four months long, and that's right. usually with a wish and a prayer. Yeah. But for the, uh, the longer season, the six to seven month season of snow, it's right on the Nordic Trail. Silverthorne okay. maintains the golf path right there, um, probably 50 feet from there, um, on the other side of a split rail fence, which is the... Uh, Nordic Trail. So how nice does that get? Good to know. Man. I mean, so that's for more of a, a six-month period of time. So That's outstanding. And so tell me a little bit about, though, if somebody's not familiar with where this neighborhood is at, mm -hmm. tell me what the neighborhood is like and uh, where you can find Three Peaks. It's on the north end of Silverthorne. Mm -hmm. It's right past Trent Park. It's approximately 2.5 miles from the interstate, um, heading north to Steamboat. You can't miss it. It's on the left-hand side. It's uh, right across from the school. It's right next to Willowbrook. It's uh, got a arched clubhouse area. It's got a real nice clubhouse situation there. And within the town of Silverthorne limits, just very easy to access with all the town services and uh, just like say great views, easy living. Um, the homeowner dues take care of your snow plowing and your front deck shoveling and uh, 
you know, trying to make it as easy as you can. And at this price, I mean, most people that travel the world know that, you know, beach property and golf course property are probably your two most expensive properties you sure. can buy. And in Summit County, I would say for the quality, this is the least expensive single family home you're mm -hmm. going to find on a golf course in Summit County. That's amazing. So the market is still there for mm -hmm. being a buyer's market, yep. but again, it won't last forever. So where can somebody find some uh, details on this home and uh, get in touch with you? Uh, you can find the details on this home on the Summit County MLS, or you can go to my website. It's a non-sign-in one. I won't know you're there unless you want me to. It's henryebar.com. Couldn't be any easier. That's easy enough. Yep. You can see the whole team there on yep. the homepage. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to navigate website. And uh, so take a look if you're interested in to being part of the housing market here in Summit County. Well, that's a great starting point uh, to get yourself acquainted with what's in the county. Henry, thanks so much again for coming in this morning. And uh, it's going to be a great weekend. So I hope great. you get outside and enjoy it. We're going to take another quick break here. And we'll be right back with more Summit Sunrise. So stick around. Mm -hmm.